Meindert Lubbert Sun Habema, born in 1638, was a Dutch Golden Age painter known for his landscape paintings. He specialized in depicting woodland scenes, although his most famous work, The Avenue at Middle Harneys, showcases a different type of setting. Habema was a pupil of Jacob van Roystal, the prominent landscape painter of the Dutch Golden Age. In his mature period, Habema focused on developing one aspect of his master's diverse output. His paintings often featured sunny forest scenes with open roads and shimmering ponds. He also depicted flat landscapes with scattered tree groups and water mills, creating over 30 paintings of the latter. The majority of Habama's mature works date from the 1660s. However, after marrying and taking a job as an excise man in 1668, he painted less frequently and seemingly stopped altogether, after 1689. During his lifetime and for nearly a century after his death, Habama was not widely recognized. However, his popularity steadily grew from the late 18th century until the 20th century. Joseph Marie Veen was supported by Comte de Calis and started learning art at a young age in the studio of Nato Iyer. In 1745, he won the Grand Prix. He spent his time in Rome studying nature and developing his own skills, taking inspiration from the great works of art around him. However, when he returned to Paris, his style was so different from the popular style of the time that he was only admitted to the academy because François Boucher was angry about his painting Deadless and Icarus, which can now be found in the Louvre. Vigne was at the peak of his career when he became the director of the School of France in Rome. However, he refused to take Jacques-Louis David under his wing because he thought David was too old to mentor young artists. After five years, he returned to France, but unfortunately, the French Revolution left his life and career in ruins. Despite the challenges posed by the Revolution, Vien continued to create art in his later years. In fact, he even won a government competition at the age of 80 in 1796. Napoleon Bonaparte recognized his talent and made him a senator. Vien passed away in Paris and was buried in the crypt of the Pantheon. As an artist and teacher, he influenced many talented individuals, including François-André Vincent, Jean-Antoine Theodore Girist, Jean-Baptiste Regnault, Joseph Benoit Suvi, Jean-Pierre saint ours François-Guillaume Menagier, Jean-Joseph Taylorson, and his son, Marie-Joseph, who also became a distinguished painter. To sum up, Maindert Lubert Sun Habema was a Dutch painter known for his beautiful landscape paintings. He focused on woodland scenes and is most famous for his work, The Avenue at Middle Harneys. Habema was a pupil of Jacob van Roystal, another renowned landscape painter of the Dutch Golden Age. His mature period was dedicated to developing his own style, often depicting sunny forest scenes and flat landscapes with tree groups and water mills. Despite being less recognized during his lifetime, Habema's popularity grew steadily from the late 18th century until the 20th century. His legacy as a landscape painter remains significant in the history of Dutch art.